the crew tends the line. Soon after, we're underway on New Jersey's official tall ship, the A.J. Muirwald. It, it, it's historic. It feels rugged. It feels tough. I mean, it's, it's been working for, for decades. The vessel was created and commissioned to be built for the purpose of oystering. So it was built to harvest oysters. We're down for South Australia. Launched in 1928 in Dorchester, the A.J. Muirwald is a restored oyster dredging schooner based out of the Bayshore Center at Bivalve. Heave ho! Heave ho! The oyster population was huge back then. On any given day, you would see between three and 500 vessels, like the one you're on right now, sailing around in the Morris River and the Delaware Bay. And every day, just in the small little town of Bivalve, they would ship out 50 to 80 box cars, train cars, full of oysters all over the country. And they considered themselves the oyster capital of the world. They'd even send oysters to Europe. During World War II, the schooner was outfitted as a fireboat, and she was eventually used as a clam dredge. In the late 1980s, she was donated to the Bayshore Center at Bivalve. Today, the crew sails the vessel throughout New Jersey and to other states. Visitors are welcome on board to set the sails, learn about the environment and the schooner's history. They're on the water for about eight months of the year. The 10 person crew actually lives on board during that time. They invited us into their galley during our voyage on the Barnegat Bay. Johann Steinke has served as captain of the vessel since February. While underway, he also enjoys reading the children's book he wrote to those on board. Princeton resident Patrick Leger is happy to be on the A.J. Muirwald. Just to be moving around on, on, on this piece of history uh, and using these, you know, just seeing all these wooden masts and traditional sails is really exciting. The two-masted gaff rig schooner is 115 feet long overall. The beauty of these boats and historical vessels in general is that they can symbolize you know, like about any, I mean, anything. You know, like most of our ancestors in this country came over by boat. That's, that's the truth of it. Um, most of our working was done, you know, historically, everybody had to wait for the wind and weather. You know, when it rained, all the roads mud were muddy, so you couldn't travel, but a boat could. You know, a lot of people think, oh, there's no wind, you can't sail. Well, that, that is true. But, but everybody had to wait for wind and weather. And these were the, the semi-trucks of the day, and, and the, these working vessels were what kept our world going back in the day. At the end of our trip, the crew lowers the sails and prepares for their next voyage. On the Barnegat Bay, I'm Lauren Wonko. And Jake TV News.